Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I asked you guys on Instagram whose routine you would want me to do this week and the winner, Cristiano Ronaldo. The one, the only, the ab king, one of the best athletes on earth, if not the highest paid currently. Today, we're gonna do his diet, do his training, and we're also gonna talk about some stuff I found really wrong online with that. It's kind of just wrong with full days of eating and celebrity diets. Let's go, kick some balls. Make that a joke if you wish. <laughs> Breakfast. His snack is an avocado toast. I'm definitely allergic to avocado. So I gotta skip that. So I'm gonna take the bread, add it to my breakfast. I'm a Canadian currently living in Sweden. So I'm gonna sweetify this and make you guys an authentic, typical Swedish breakfast. Crisp bread. It looks like this. And some granola. Swede. They add butter to the crisp bread. So the fat and fiber I'm missing from the avocado, I'm replacing with granola and butter. Now, is that triggering to the fitness community? Oh boy, yeah. We hear there's too much sugar and granola. And there's saturated fat and butter. You try having an avocado allergy and a fitness channel. And breakfast after I sweetified it. This? Oh. Mm, so good. He probably eats three times this amount. I noticed he had no carbs online. We'll talk about that later a bit more, but it'll be one of two things. He just doesn't want much in his system before his first workout. Or in an interview, once he just said like, oh, what do you have for breakfast? And a continental breakfast very often in Europe would be like European meats, cheese, yogurts, and it also comes with breads and granola. But he just said, oh yeah, no, I eat like yogurt and cheeses and meats in the morning. See? What you read online is not always true. Nana tries weightlifting program, but first I noticed something in the gym. Someone before me must have attempted what some would say is the hardest exercise in the gym. Free racking your weights. Someone left it there. Bruh. Man, I'm dead. Super set with three by 12 bench press. My bench is pathetic, okay? I haven't done one of these in eight years. Incline chest press, uh, we don't have one. Super set with barbell walking lunges and a lot of compound movement super set. I'm not a big fan of, but we'll talk about that after. Three by 12 chest press. cable push downs. There's quite a few different kinds of cable push downs, but I'm gonna super set with tricep. Set with knee raises. And then he does a 20 minute hit, which is alternating between a minute of walking and a minute of sprinting, which actually if you guys watch my all day of eating slash how I work out, I do finish most workouts with a 10 minute hit session. I throw on my the hit Spotify playlist I made you guys. Ooh. Since I smashed my phone. And then I just usually walk or jog and then just sprint when the beat drops. So this is pretty much double what I'm used to. And then I saw he posted on Instagram his ab challenge. So it's how many toe touches you can do in one minute. His record is 142 and he challenged anyone to beat him. He is the ab king. So I'm gonna to attempt to beat his 142 toe touches in a minute. Ab check before.
camera isn't capable of recording for more than a minute. We got 86. I'm not even close. How, how on earth? How on earth did he get 140? At first I was like, oh, that's possible. I just hit total cramp. So a lot of that workout was like supersetted compound movements, like the first two sets. So would that be a squat, lunges, bench press. I mean, at least it's not the same muscle groups, but for me personally, I've always done like a compound movement, supersetted with a bit more of a mobility exercise. That's just my form of training. I'm not saying I'm smarter than Christian Ronaldo. Cristiano. I'm gonna say that wrong so many times. I'm assuming he has the best trainers in the world. It's just more, I'm like, was this his workout he did one time or is this his workout he does every single time? Because that's why I just don't believe the internet. So for his lunch number one, all I found online was a chicken salad. That is so broad. It could be 1500 calorie Cobb salad or it could be 50 calorie Italian dressing salad thing. Anyways, so I went with what I wanted. Got carrots, tomatoes, bell sprouts. We got this buckwheat, chicken, honey mustard because I need carbs after work. So, and I figured he probably eats carbs after his workout too. So I wasn't just gonna have lettuce and chicken. Online it says he just drinks water aside from the odd juice at breakfast, so hydration, the solution to 99% of all of our problems. And a friendly reminder, Lindsay, Lindsay, you right there. Have you drank water today? Pause the video, go take a sip of water, come back. With his avocado toast, he snacks on fruit, so I'm gonna snack on fruit. And you? So, guave juice. I'm just kidding. There is fruit in here, but like, Guave is full of fiber. Frozen grapes, so good. I read somewhere once someone said they taste like ice cream. What? No, it doesn't taste like ice cream. It tastes delicious, not ice cream. Oh, also, he does not drink alcohol. Uh, just the odd glass of red wine. Uh, so that, my friends, is what we call going off script. Ow! It says online he has five naps a day, equivalent to 7.5 hours of sleep, on top of having seven to eight hours of sleep. So here's me laying down after lunch and having a nap. Minus, I have way too much energy, always. Lunch two. Tuna, olives, eggs, and tomato. Now, I love eggs, tomato, and olive with some eggs. Oh, that sounds great. But tuna, I could not get fresh tuna, and canned tuna sounds repulsive with that, so I'm going to also swedish fry this. If you've been here any other previous episode, you know I struggle to make egg. Not in real life, just on the internet. I want to make sunny side eggs. Forgot I had them on. Oh, okay. Here's hoping today's the day. I don't somehow screw it up. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I can't even make this stuff up. Why is there always something wrong? Today, I was like, this is my redemption because people on the internet don't believe I know how to cook eggs. And right off the bat, I just can't even get it into the pan. I don't want to waste this one, so. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Today's lunch, I uh, was supposed to have tuna. I replaced it with Swedish caviar, which I tried for the first time yesterday, <laughs> ironically. And the best way I could describe it is like salty, sweet, and fishy. So like I added a bit of fishiness to this meal. Is it perfect? No. When you're watching these full days of eating of athletes, of celebrities, of anything, copying exactly what they're gonna do isn't gonna give you their result. You might have to do something completely different to get a result similar to theirs. There's so many factors. There's your genetics, your TDE. I'll talk about that actually like maybe at dinner science. That was a long word, but some people might not like caviar on their eggs. <laughs> Now for what's about to be my favorite part of this video. Soccer practice. For the record, I played soccer up till I was like 12. But then, because of basketball, I had to quit. And when I say practice, I mean I'm just gonna run sprints and kick around a ball by myself. Problem number one, field I just came to, tons of kids. And it is never a good luck to bring a camera to where children are playing. So I'm going to grab the soccer field, just try and find any field. Found a field. It's clearly not much of a field, but it has a net. Go on, baby, go on. First time trying to kick a soccer ball in the net in approximately a decade. Let's try. Top right. 
Look at my sports bra. <laughs> We're trying to chest the ball. Jim Shark link in the description. Hey, if you're watching this, stop working. Your weekend starts now. Everybody was Come on. <laughs> According to this meal plan I found online of Ronaldo's, he has swordfish and salad for his first supper. I searched at three grocery stores. I looked everywhere online. I went to the mall to look in seafood restaurant. There, I can't find swordfish. I feel that's way too bougie for me, way out of my price range. So to improvise, Swedish shrimp salad, it is a go-to. I've had many of times when I go to restaurants and I'm just gonna try and make it myself at home. I forgot the dill, but it's shrimp and mayo, of lettuce, and there's rye bread underneath. I feel a lot of North Americans might find this odd, but it is so good. You know what? It's got a lot of healthy things in it. I saw no one online that says he's like no carb. And then this whole menu is like no carb. And then you see those photos. This was like fries and bread and all that. So I think it's another thing. Or he might have said at one point he's like a lot of fish and salads for one of his meals. Mm, that's a great. Now, I saw an article that he prioritizes three things, and that's how he's been able to prolong his career, still be in his mid-30s, and be one of the best athletes on earth. Hydration, good food, good sleep, and a Theragun. Those are just the three. There's so many things. We care about this superset and this and that. Eight hours of sleep, first. Second, drink enough water. Third, healthy food. Just do that, and that will solve so many things. But then, that article, he also talked about a Theragun. I love a Theragun. I have, like, a different brand one, and I love it. It's great. But as soon as I see something like that I'm like okay it's great but how much are you getting paid I'm not hating on him at all but that they're gun I see that I'm like how much are you getting paid to say that so just just know that anytime any celebrity promotes anything could be getting paid did they're gonna pay him I don't know but it, it seemed like that but then he said the three most important things sleep hydration food it ain't sexy but it works fries for dinner and it was supposed to be steak and calamari but I did see some pictures he ate french fries I looked once again so much for calamari so it's a fried potato instead of fried shrimp I also don't need as much protein as him so I figured steak and calamari was overkill for me so my Irish and Alberta roots are, are here for this why was I cutting that so weird how is there like next to no carbs in this? It's just, I can't imagine someone with that energy expenditure, a high level athlete is not eating carbs. I'm sure it's a lot of pasta, good quality breads. There's oatmeal. There's so many things like that. Yeah, maybe he's probably not eating chips all day. I say as they eat potatoes. I didn't eat healthy popping eggs. I don't actually believe this is fully what he's eating. Someone that high level is probably eating a lot of carbs to account for their energy expenditure. But I think this is just one of those examples of a news organization. Someone wrote an article and now that's forever floating around and we all have this idea that's how he eats. But just a reminder, when you see things like this, don't be like, oh my God, if I'm only a Christian I'm going to have to eat all these things. I'm like, I don't even think he eats that every day. He could some days, but you know what? We'll never know. But you guys are smart around here, so I feel you're like healthy. I know. Because you, you are smart. Let me know down in the comments any other athletes, celebrities, training you would like me to try for the day. These have been fun. I've been loving the vlog series and just, yeah, once a week just having a theme that you guys are interested about my day. And hit subscribe if you want to join along and see those and comment below any other challenges you would want. So hope you guys have a fabulous day. Go pet a dog. Love you. Bye.